Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video I'm gonna teach you how to create a Gantt chart in Excel 2013. A Gantt chart as we all know is a way of representing uh, the project, the life cycles of uh, activity like in this case we have taken a web development life cycle wherein we have uh, a sequential number of tasks which are uh, set in a sequence then the start dates and the duration that would be taken to completing those tasks and then in the end by adding these two things we would be able to get an end date now this is in a web, web, uh, web development uh, life cycle what is typical is we create the wireframes then then we design the website then we HTML when then we do the HTML and then we do the development and along with development we do the QA now these are the start dates of the respective activities these are the hypothetical durations and by adding these two I have been able to come to end date now how do we represent this in a beautiful looking diagram like this this is a Gantt chart see all this information has been depicted over here so very beautifully let me show you how it is done it is very very easy to do let me just delete this one all right first of all what we have to do is we have to select this data click on insert go to bar charts select a 2d bar chart whenever they use the word bar I kind of think of Jack Daniels but that is not we have what we have gonna gonna think of okay let's stick to the business no Jack Daniels right now <laughs> all right now the first thing that we need to do is now we have the basic outline of our Gantt chart over here what we need to do is we need to select the smallest date in the start date column and the biggest the largest date in the end date column and I, I've selected these two together using the control key and then I'll press right click and then I'll go to format cells and I will format them to general all right I click on OK now over here now I click on this axis click right click format axis and in this axis option what I do is I type in the minimum value which is 41573 and the largest value is this one 41624 we are just defining the largest the starting point and the end point of this data table that is what we are doing that's it we are done see now what we have to do is now if you see our wireframe is the first activity however it is uh, listed at the bottom we need to reverse this trend how we'll do that we will just click over here select this column right click it go to format axis first of all when it says horizontal axis crosses we need to click at max at maximum category and then at, in this section axis position we need to click on categories in reverse order categories in reverse order here we are our Gantt chart is almost ready now what we need to do is reverse these two numbers to their regular date format select both of them by clicking control and then click then do a right click <coughs> go to format cells go to date format choose an appropriate date format click OK the start date 26th October 26th October the end date 15 December 16th December okay very near <laughs> now we need to remove these blue colored bars and these gray colored bars because Excel has automatically filled them in to represent data which is not there now which is also not useful to us the the gray bars represent the dates which would be following the duration the orange bars represent the duration and that is what we need the gray bars show end dates so we don't need them what we need to do is just select uh, just click on any of the gray bars and go to fill 
and select no fill there they are gone now go to any of the blue bar which is the start dates which will represent the start dates we don't need them simply click them go to fill and select no fill and here we are here is our beautiful looking Gantt chart we can change the colors of individual things double click over here go to home click over here choose a color double click this another color another color for this one another color for this one <laughs> this is fun while I'm <laughs> enjoying doing some coloring what you can notice is that you can download this file from www.myelesson.org for free so that you can practice along this is something that you would master with practice this is a beautiful way to represent things in uh, using a chart I hope you I hope you like this video in the next uh, uh, so until the next video this is your guru signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning